I thought before signing off for the night, I would share with you guys the story of how I got Mr. MRL. Good evening, internet friends. There's no point in saying good morning because it is like 9.21 at night. <laughs> so, how are we doing today? Sassy says I'm sleepy. I'm always sleepy. And the boys are downstairs with my parents. Just doing whatever. So, how has the day been today? I interned. That was fun. What was... I feel like there was something kind of cool and kind of weird that happened today. I got to watch meerkats play in a baby pool filled with colorful plastic balls. It was great. Um, and I think I may actually be getting hired. One of the ladies over birthday parties is going to talk to someone and see if I could get start doing paperwork on Tuesday. So, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, so hopefully that will be a job. I mean, it won't be a full-time job, but... It still is something, and hopefully it could lead to a full-time job. So, we'll just see what happens there. Um, anxiety was not too bad today. I think it's because my mom put an anxiety essential oil mix on the back of my neck, which I was concerned about because I thought that the animals would get affected by the smell, but they really didn't care. Um, then what happened? Got home. I, um... Played with the dogs. Um, watched YouTube on my phone. I have a huge watch later list, so I'm getting through those. Um, and let's see. My parents dropped off my brother at um, Battlegrounds. Made me some dinner of like frozen meatballs with barbecue sauce. Delicious. And then had dinner. Played Rummy Cube with Mom and Dad. We played like five rounds. And now I'm upstairs. I watched some more videos. And then I was like, you know, I could probably work on the vlog. It's like around 8 something. That shouldn't be bad. And then I see it's 9.15. I'm like, oh. Oh, never mind. I need to go ahead and get started on them. And I also need to record a vlog. Because guess what I didn't do? That. So, <laughs> yeah. Now I'm... Working on the vlog before I eventually go to sleep because around 9.30 I take my meds, including my sleep meds, and then those usually kick in about 9.40, 10, somewhere in there. So, just want to tell you guys good evening and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! So there's Sassy. There's MRL trying to sit on Sassy. Hi honey. And there be the Riddler. Hi Riddler. Alright, so got the vlog up. That's really all I've done. Got contacts out, meds in. I'm just gonna shower tomorrow because I'm tired. But I thought before signing off for the night, I would share with you guys the story of how I got Mr. MRL. Yeah, you wanna say you wanna talk about how we got you? So, in a nutshell, I'll say, ah, you're stabbing me in the neck with your claws, son. Wow. I will say that MRL is definitely a miracle dog. Like, he was not really supposed to happen, and he happened, didn't you? So, <clears throat> as I've said in previous vlogs, I've been searching for a service dog for about two years. Um, I finally decided, well, bye bud, I decided I was going to have a Weimaraner as a service dog because you know they're highly intelligent they are velcro dogs they love being around people things like that and I knew a breeder she's actually the same breeder that Riddler came from fun fact Riddler and Emerald are full brothers so there you go um so I had contact with her I talked with her you know she, like, she doesn't breed wimes for service work or really for any type of specific work. 
But I asked her, I was like, you know, in your opinion, do you think a Weimaraner would be a good service dog? And she said yes. Um, because of them being Velcro and that they're so attuned to how you're feeling. For example, her dog Tia, who is the mother of both Riddler and MRL, will follow you around. She, if something's bothering you, she's one to immediately, like, come up to you and comfort you. Riddler has that quality, like his mom. MRL sort of does. But they're both very Velcro dogs when they're not playing with each other. Guys, can you not kill each other? Okay. So, I had told her, I was like, you know, and the dogs are $700 each. So, I told her, I was like, you know, I'm, I'd like to get a puppy through you. And I'm going to be saving the money. And she said, okay. Um, MRL's litter at this time had been born already. He was born in October, and I think this was around November when I was talking to her. Yeah, it was Thanksgiving week when I was talking with her. Um, so I had planned on waiting till the next litter, which I thought wasn't going to be born till April. Um, well then, fast forward to a couple of days after I graduated college. And my mom and I are just, we're hanging out in my mom's room. Um, probably watching YouTube or something. And mom gets a text from dad that the breeder had emailed him. She had one puppy left. And he was supposed to go, he was named, he was claimed. But she had a really bad feeling about the lady who claimed him because she was given all sorts of excuses like, Oh, I broke my ankle. I can't get the puppy till after Christmas. Um, my dog got pregnant. Which, it was just really sketchy. So, as the breeder said, she prayed really hard about what to do with the little boy. And decided to actually give me the dog. I was like, are you sure? Are you sure you want to actually give me a puppy? Because, you know, I'm trying to raise the money for him. And she said yes, that he would be a graduation present for me. So, my graduation present was not you. You weren't my graduation present. Was this one. And MRL just, he is a miracle dog. He, to me, exudes a lot of the qualities of a service dog. He is a lot calmer compared to Riddler. He is so intelligent. He learns things very quickly. He's just a sweetheart. And anything that I wanted in a service dog, he does. So it makes me so, so happy. So, yeah, that is the story of how I got MRL. And he has been a blessing. I love him so much. MRL! You wanna come here? No. You wanna play with my toy, Mom? Riddler wants to bark at me. Riddler, hush! Really? You wanna go get it? You wanna go get it? Get it. Okay, so now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day, if you have a service dog, how did you get your dog? If you don't have a service dog, how did you get one of your pets if you have one? If you don't have a pet, then I don't know. Make up a story about getting a pet rock. Whatever you want to do. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Sassafrasum. Good night, Emerel. Good night, Riddler. You guys will probably go to sleep once you get all this energy out of you. But we'll see you guys tomorrow.